is shown a damaged astronaut ship stuck in space. Their goal in space is to inject genetically engineered fluids that are injected into rat. Then the result is that the rat turn into a very creepy monster that attacked them all until their ship was damaged, and all the crew on duty died leaving only one woman using an emergency capsule and carrying the liquid. But unfortunately when heading to Earth the capsule had to explode the woman did not survive and the liquid fell to Earth. The scene moves to the zoo and then shown a large man named Davis. There, he works as a zookeeper seeing Davis very close to the big gorilla there, named George. They are very familiar and Davis is often teased by George. When night fell, it was seen that the debris of the capsule fell into several regions on Earth, one of which the liquid fell right in the zoo guarded by Davis then George approached the liquid, and then the liquid released smoke which made George scream in pain. The next day when Davis arrived at the zoo he received a report that George after getting out of his cage then killing the bear that was there. Then Davis saw George and tried to calm down. When George came out, they were very surprised to see the size of George who suddenly grew large. The scene moves to a modern technology office where there are two siblings named Brett and Claire. They are the owners of the office as well as the mastermind of a project called Rampage, which is none other than they are the owners of the green liquid sample. The project was deliberately tested in space because it was a genetic engineering experiment and in order not to be known by the government. That's why it was tested in space. Then there is a scientist named Kate. She heard the news that there was a green liquid that fell in the zoo. And then Kate immediately went to the zoo. After getting there, Kate asks Davis did he find something that fell last night here. Then Davis showed the bottle of liquid and Davis asked for an explanation from Kate. Because the liquid that turned George became bigger like this, Kate explained it was genetic engineering that tried to combine several selected animals and put together in a gene. Whoever is exposed to the liquid substance will have the power that the selected animal has. And the project is called Rampage which is carried out in space. When they are busy chatting then suddenly George goes berserk and becomes very fierce. Then George also destroyed his cage and broke through to get out. Davis chased him and tried to calm George when George began to calm down. Suddenly the police shot George with a stun bullet that made George unconscious. The scene moves to a man. He is an ex-military who has hunting skills. He was ordered by Brett and Claire to find the bottle of green liquid that fell in the forest area. There, when they were about to get off the helicopter they saw huge footprints and saw many deer running. And then suddenly the wolf that has become giant, attacked one by one of them and even the wolf destroyed their helicopters and then all of them die. Nothing is left. The scene moves to George being taken by the military using a plane and obviously Davis and Kate are there. It can be seen that the leader of the troops named Russell is also with Davis on the plane. Claire and Brett heard the news that the team they sent had all been killed by the giant wolf. Then Claire immediately activated the call signal for all animals infected with the green liquid. Then after the signal was active one by one the infected animals began to hear it. From starting a crocodile that has turned into an infected monster because it fell in one of the rivers then the crocodile immediately headed for the signal. Then the wolf who was messing around on the road also heard the call signal the wolf also immediately ran towards the signal. George who was on the plane also heard the call which made George rage and made the plane crash which only left Davis, Kate and Russell. After that, Russell tried to contact the rescue team with the radio that was left in the wreckage of the crashed plane. Then they survived and immediately headed to the military headquarters. On the monitor screen they saw George survived and was running with the wolf towards the direction of the call signal. Then Kate explained to them that they were called by one of the signals in Chicago. One way to stop it is to destroy the signal. The military members here did not believe Kate and ignored her. Then they both forced to go to Chicago by stealing a helicopter there. Which which was assisted by Russell. Then when Davis and Kate arrived in the city of Chicago, he saw George and the wolf destroying the whole city. Then followed by the crocodile who had turned into a giant and added to all the chaos in the city. Davis then entered the building to stop the calling signal. Then when Kate steals the antidote to restore George's memory, they are caught by the two siblings and Claire then takes a gun and shoots Davis. Then when they are pressed it turns out that Kate managed to take one antidote. Before being caught by Claire and Brett then they put it in Claire's bag and they cornered Claire to be eaten by George. After arriving at the building, 
He let Brett escape as long as Brett handed over the Russian rat and the laptop, and then Brett escaped outside which he finally died crushed by the rubble. Davis and Kate are seen trapped on top of a building that is about to collapse, and they end up hiding in the helicopter that George destroyed. After the building collapsed, it was seen that the two of them survived the ruins. When they came out and saw that the three monsters still hadn't stopped messing around, Davis also told Kate to get out of there then George gradually began to regain consciousness because he had eaten the antidote earlier. Slowly Davis was able to restore George's memory and George began to remember everything. After that, finally George and Davis tried to paralyze the two monsters. It seemed that they both had a little trouble fighting the two monsters. And then Davis lured the wolf to attack him and when the wolf tried to attack, the crocodile then attacked the wolf to death. After the wolf was killed, they both tried to fight the crocodile, a fierce battle ensued. It seems that the two of them were overwhelmed even George had to be slammed and impaled on the iron in the ruins. Davis who saw George impaled of course was even more angry and tried to shoot at the crocodile. But the crocodile was very strong and was able to attack Davis back. When Davis was pressed, George got up and stabbed the iron right in the eye of the crocodile. After that the two of them managed to defeat the monster. George was seen lying very weak and now he was back to his original size. Davis was very sad because he thought George was dead. But it turned out that Davis was only pranked by George then Russell came and thanked Davis for saving the world. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. What movie do you want next? Just comment below, have a nice day.